The goal of this video is to uh, show that convergence and distribution doesn't necessarily imply convergence and probability. So what we're going to do is come up with um, a sequence of random variables that converges in distribution somewhere, but does not converge in probability to that same place. Um, so let's let Uh, the sequence xn be binomial uh, 1 and probability of success 1 half. So basically it's a Bernoulli and this will be true for all n greater than 1. And we'll also let the random variable x be equal to 1 minus xn, where xn is that sequence that we just defined. Um, and what we'll do is notice that uh, x also has a binomial distribution with the same parameters, right? 1 and p equals 1 half. Now, if you're not convinced of this fact here, you could always calculate uh, what's the probability that x is equal to some little x, and then use uh, the definition of x and the distribution of xn to show that you get, in fact, another, another binomial. And for our purposes, what we want to notice is that this sequence, well, it's the sequence is the same, right? The, the distribution doesn't depend on n. It's not like it changes for n equals 1 and n equals 2. It's the same. So trivially, uh, xn converges in distribution to, uh, to x, right? Same distribution for xn and x for all n. So we have convergence and distribution. So let's show that um, this sequence does not converge to x in probability. So it turns out that the probability of the absolute value of xn minus x being greater than or equal to epsilon, well, if we plug in, that's the probability uh, that xn minus 1 plus xn, right, using the definition of x, uh, an absolute value is greater than or equal to epsilon. And then that's equal to the probability the absolute value of 2xn minus 1 is greater than or equal to epsilon. And then we're going to note something pretty interesting. Think about this absolute value here. Well, what are the possible values that xn can take on? It's a Bernoulli, so it can take on a 0 or a 1. So think about those possibilities. <clears throat> when xn is 0, we get negative 1. But then in absolute value, that's equal to 1. And then the other case is when xn is 1. Well, when xn is 1, we get 2 times 1 minus 1 is 1. And in absolute value, that's again 1. So overall, what we see is this probability is just equal to the probability that 1 is greater than or equal to epsilon. Well, this is going to be easy to show we don't have convergence in probability. We can, for example, let epsilon be equal to 0.9. And then the probability that 1 is greater than or equal to uh, epsilon is the probability that 1 is greater than or equal to 0.9. And that probability is 1, which certainly does not converge to 0 as n goes to infinity. And that's true uh, you know, for this epsilon and, and plenty others. So that implies that xn does not converge in probability to x. So just to summarize, we've 
taken what's a trivial sequence, but a sequence of random variables nonetheless, and shows that, showed that it converges in distribution somewhere, but that it does not converge in probability to that place. So again, we've found uh, convergence in distribution does not necessarily imply convergence in probability. Now we're going to modify this statement uh, in class and we'll show that under certain conditions we have convergence and distribution implying convergence and probability, but clearly we haven't met that condition here, so stay tuned.